Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a bit of a different video. This isn't your sort of usual FIFA video. So if you came here for purely FIFA and FIFA gameplay and things like that, you might want to turn away. But if you are interested or you are a big career mode fan, then this might be uh, a video you want to watch. Because recently I've seen a lot of people like, yo, Cal, where did career mode go? Some people being really inappropriate about it. And uh, yeah, most people just kind of wanted an explanation. They weren't necessarily being harsh. They weren't, you know, they just really would like to know where did career mode go, which is fair enough. You know, if it's a C so you guys watched a lot of my channel which I want to say a huge thank you for then I suppose you guys you know would like to know where it's gone so this video is gonna be a little bit of a waffle on I'm not only gonna talk about career mode a couple of other things as well but I just really want to explain to you guys what happened with career mode so for me um, I was thinking about how the best way to kind of explain it to you guys like where did it go so one thing I do want to say guys is that I haven't indefinitely I haven't stopped career mode 100% I'm I there is no way that there is absolutely no career mode gonna be on my channel again but the best way to describe it is let's say you find a song that you really like so this is my sort of analogy that I'm gonna try and give to you guys so let's say there's a song that you really like and I don't know about you guys but if I find a song that I really like I always tend to put it on repeat and I put it on repeat again and again and again and then it gets to a point where I'm just like Ugh, I'm kind of fed up of that song so let me go ahead and uh, find and then I find a new one and then I put that on repeat and then I kind of get fed up of that so um, that's probably the best way to look at it with career mode so if when I was making career mode videos it was you know I really enjoyed making career mode videos they were a lot of fun but it got to a stage where it was just so kind of repetitive and that can kind of be my fault as well but at the same time it can kind of be EA's fault in the sense that there might not be enough variation in career mode I don't know what your guys thoughts on that are but uh, yeah it was getting to the point where I was still enjoying career mode but I looked down my channel I was like you know I want to do some other stuff although career mode is a lot of fun you guys have to remember about each video um, that I made of career mode that was about three hours worth of gameplay um, or you know maybe two to three hours worth worth of gameplay in each video so that means I would have to wake up and I'd have to play three hours of career mode and you know I, I wanted to swap it up in honesty I don't know about you guys but if you guys uh, were playing three hours of career mode every day and then having to go away edit and then commentate over career mode I felt as though in the commentaries I was kind of saying things that I'd already said in previous episodes and there wasn't anything fresh for me to say and that's one of the biggest things that I want to deliver to you guys I want to be able to give you guys good new fresh content where it's not to the point that you're like oh it's just the same thing over and over again so I know a lot of you guys are career mode fans and I really appreciate all the ones that are you know hardcore they always went to my videos always left a like on them and you guys were just some of the best fans ever seriously it's insane how awesome um, you guys support the career mode videos but I also really enjoy Ultimate Team. Ultimate Team is essentially what I started my FIFA-ness on, if you will. You know, I played a lot of Ultimate Team. Some people might remember my started from scratch series way back in FIFA 12. Um, or was it even FIFA 11? Maybe it was FIFA 11. <laughs> I, I can't remember. Anyways, um, yeah, I, I did this series and it was just so, so much fun. And I'm a big Ultimate Team fan. I know some of my subscribers were Ultimate Team fan. And what's kind of different about my fan base is that I have some people who are just hardcore career mode fans. I have some career mode fans. And then I have some Ultimate Team fans. And I have some hardcore Ultimate Team fans. So for me, to try and balance it is really tough. And I'm not going to lie. Uh, my part, it is actually really hard for me to get the right balance. So I did really heavy career mode and now I'm doing kind of heavy ultimate team so I really need to find that sort of balance where I can accommodate for both of you guys um you know I can accommodate for the people that enjoy ultimate team and I can accommodate for the guys who enjoy career mode and then I can also accommodate for guys who like both of them you know some people enjoy the whole storyline seeing how a team progresses on a career mode but at the same time they play a lot of ultimate team as well and they want to you know uh, see squad builders they want to see all that fun stuff so I'll understand you know there are a few people out there like um, saying certain things about, uh, you know, you should only do career mode and things like that. But that's just not me. I don't know about you guys, but I'd really appreciate it if you kind of put yourselves in my shoes as well and you, you know, had to play career mode three hours a day. And I, like I said, I do enjoy career mode and I find it fun. But if you have to play it three hours every day and then go away and edit it for an hour, then it gets really repetitive. And I think a lot of people saw that in my videos. And don't get me wrong, guys. Like I said, it's not completely gone away. It's more of me just taking a break from it. I want to do some variation with my channel with ultimate team it does allow you to kind of make uh, a different range of videos you got likes of uh, wager matches squad builders pack openings player reviews and um, you know I could even do uh, a certain series with it all but like I said it 
it is really tough for me to get the balance and you know no no one is perfect if you know what i mean so everyone makes mistakes i suppose one of my mistakes was not balancing it out right and an even bigger mistake that i made was that i didn't necessarily relay you guys what i was thinking because this this sort of video is probably you know where you guys aren't and i'm just kind of talking to you guys i haven't done one of these videos and i'd say maybe a year a year and a bit so Maybe I just need to let you guys know a little bit more insight as to what I'm thinking, why I make certain decisions, things like that. So I hope you guys can kind of understand. I hope you guys take a, a mature approach, if you will, and not just, you know, go ham in the comments, blah, blah, blah. I hope you guys can see it from my point of view as well. And I do just want to say that kind of brings me on to my next point is I really, really appreciate the people who kind of had their head screwed on throughout these last few days or whatever and just looking at things from my point of view, if you will. So um, that kind of leads me on to my next topic, which is the whole Toby thing, blah, 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 the uh, pack opening discard stuff. I think it's gotten to the point literally where... Um, it's it's a little bit crazy like uh, me and Toby were you know we we live together you know we're flatmates we're really really good friends and we get along so about five minutes after the video you know we were just having a laugh we watched it back we found it really funny that sort of thing but at the time it was just you know sort of he couldn't believe that I discarded it and we're really good friends and it just it, it, it's kind of weird to see people get far more angry than the guy who actually got the pack that was discarded. If you guys follow me or Toby on Twitter, you guys will know that, you know, we're, we're good friends. It's not like he hates me. At the end of the day, it's, you know, it's a video game, if you will. Um, it's, you know, it's cards on a screen. It's pixels on a screen. And it, it was it was more funny. It, it wasn't so, like, it wasn't done intentionally to make him upset. Because I knew by me discarding that, it wouldn't make him upset. He has over 5 million coins. A 200,000 uh, coin pack really isn't going to make him go all depressed and things like that. And he found it just as funny afterwards as well. Um, you know, when he looks at it back, he thinks it's priceless. I think it's really funny. But the people that are left there, um, you know, shouting abuse and things like that, they're they're getting far more worked up than myself or Toby, if you know what I mean. It's it's a really strange sort of thing. Uh, you know, it, I want to I almost want to say as if like Toby's moved on, but there was never really anything to move on from because he found it quite funny from the beginning, anyways. So it was really strange to see it all uh, sort of pan out. And uh, yeah, like I said, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who. Uh, uh, not necessarily sticks up, but kind of sees my point of view. Now, uh, the I, I don't know about you guys, but if you follow me on Twitter, my Twitter followers are the people who probably most understand my sort of humor and the way, you know, I kind of operate. So I got, uh, once that video went up, I had tons of people tweeting at me saying that was the funniest thing ever and things like that. And it was just one of those things where, you know, I, 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 of course, I wouldn't do it unless I found it quite funny. I know Toby ended up finding it quite funny and he enjoys it. So, um... Yeah, it was weird. There were a few people who took it as if it was personal, as if it was their pack or something like that that got discarded. I'm not entirely sure why, but uh, yeah, they got a little bit uh, wound up about it. And hey, I mean, if you were one of those guys, then so be it. I really don't know what else to say to you. But uh, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, me and Toby are just good friends. You guys are well known. If you've been following my channel for a while, um, ever since I moved down, we've been doing videos together and just fun stuff. And I know he's planning a revenge video. And it, it's all the best way to put it is simply it was just banter between two flatmates. And I don't know about you guys, but if you guys ever lived with your mate and you did that, you can kind of imagine the sort of uh, banter that would go back and forth between you. Now, I know a lot of the a lot of the people out there are very much like you know they they understand where i'm coming from so i apologize if you're still listening to this and you're like you you, all, you were one of the people that kind of in the comments were like why are people getting so worked up about it? It was just a bit of answer. So that's pretty much what it was. I just wanted to clear the air with that because a few people seem to get really, really worked up about it. Not entirely sure what the crack was. So I thought I'd explain that whole shenanigans to you guys. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's really about it. I covered two of the topics that I really wanted to talk about. Like I said, I don't really do videos like this too much. I like to just get on with videos, trying to uh, entertain you guys, keep you guys happy. And yeah, but I felt as though there were some aspects that I didn't really cover well enough and it would take an entire video really just to talk about it. It and uh, get my thoughts over to you guys. So I really would appreciate any sort of mature response in the uh, description. Don't just lash out or whatever. If you have any sort of um, thoughts or anything like that, let me know in the comment. And of course, if you guys have any constructive criticism, that's the way you should really go about it. If you follow any other um, FIFA YouTubers and they're doing something that you don't necessarily like, 
don't just go in the comments calling them a cunt or calling them this that because at the end of the day you know they make videos because they know that there's people out there that enjoy them so if you see them making a video and like I said you don't necessarily enjoy it instead of going down there flaming them like hell tell them you know I appreciate that you did this but maybe you could uh, change this up do you know what I mean you could t take a sort of different approach to it so um, that's always the best way to go about things guys um, I, I just noticed that a lot of people are really really um, I don't know where to put it really uh yeah, I, I'm not entirely sure like uh, how to put it, but yeah, people are just a little bit crazy in the comments at times, and they don't really necessarily think about what they're typing because uh, most YouTubers, well, I don't know, well, I say most, but I know for me and for a fact, you know, I read most of the comments because I really enjoy uh, seeing what you guys have to say. If you guys do, don't follow me on Twitter or Facebook, then I recommend you do so. Um, it's one of those things that is just, um, you, you just got to do if you enjoy, you know, a little bit more, seeing a little bit more about YouTubers. Uh, most YouTubers are probably on Twitter. I know I'm really really quite active on there. I've got far too many tweets on there. Just sit on there. Just, yeah, just way too many. But guys, I hope you did enjoy this video and I hope I cleared some things up, maybe some thoughts, some things you guys were a little bit worried about. You weren't too sure what the deal was, but I thought I'd just kind of let you guys know what the crack was. I apologize. There wasn't anything interesting on the screen, but uh, yeah, guys, that'll do it for me. Like I said, any sort of mature responses in the uh, comments and any sort of constructive criticism is very much appreciated. But uh, yeah, that'll do it for me, guys, and there will be a video up later today. It's going to be a wager match, and uh, that should be fun. But if you guys have any sort of idea on how I can balance uh, career mode videos along with Ultimate Team videos, I am all ears because at the end of the day, I really enjoy your sort of uh, constructive uh, feedback, your constructive criticism, so I'm always, uh, I'm always open to stuff like that. But until then, guys, I'll catch you in a little bit. Bye-bye.